Hello everyone! Today is story time. I am Valentina Cirasola, <clears throat> designer, author. Welcome to a new episode of Create Beauty Every Day. The story is about one of the person I've known some time ago and then became my client. I was called one time um, by someone I did not know and uh, she told me she had a lot of challenges in her home. Things she, she did not know how to resolve and she wanted my help. So I went to visit her. There was a huge home. A huge door. When I rang, a girl answered the phone, uh, the, the door. I am glad I did not say, I'm so and so, I have an appointment with your mom. She was the mom of two, two kids and uh, she was the owner of the house and the lady of the house. So, so lucky me, I was silent. When I enter this door, it was a huge door, 10 feet tall door, wide, 10 feet wide, and it's like, at least seemed that way. I immediately saw what the problem was and the challenge she had immediately I had the solution, but I let her talk first and I let her present me all that she was challenged with. So we sat and her feet dangled on the chair. She told me that um, her soul doesn't feel at peace when she is in the common area. Now this common area included the dining, the living room, and the great room. So we were sitting in the living room and um, she was telling me that her soul felt uncomfortable. Her soul felt like she was leaving her body every time she was sitting there. And um, she could not uh, keep the room warm because it was the ceiling were very high unless she turned the um, uh, thermostat way out up and spending a lot of money and electricity of course so she had problem of heating the windows were too tall um, what else Oh, the furniture were, she, she was not American, she was of a different country. And uh, she said the American furniture, very tall, very big. So her china cabinet, when she used it, she had to take something out. She had to have a ladder or someone, um, or had to have someone to help her. So I can see that being a very difficult moment when she had to prepare the table for dining, especially for, I don't know, she had formal affair or just a lot of family or friends. When she had to prepare a dinner for all the people, I'm sure she had a lot of problem trying to get all the plates down from the china cabinet. So then she took me upstairs through a long staircase and uh, when I was up there I lean over the, uh, the the rail and I felt like I was looking down in a large stadium that house really felt like a stadium it felt like I had no soul and was not even my house 
So the solution I had was very, uh, it, it just came to me, it was immediate, but um, it was not an inexpensive solution. Um, so nonetheless, I proposed it to her. And uh, she took all the advices. So my ad advices was that she needed to lower the ceiling. There was enough space actually in that common area where she had the living, the dining, and the great room together. Huge space, open. There was a room basically up there to make more rooms by lowering the ceiling. And um, so she accepted that it was the solution was not inexpensive, as I said, but she thought it was the best solution because that way she could keep the uh, uh, thermostat down and warm up the room the way she wanted it. Um, she wouldn't feel so short in a home with high ceilings. She wouldn't feel all this um, she felt like, uh, she told me, that some of the people that she knew thought of her more like um, a girl than a grown-up woman because she was little. She was not petite. She was little. And um, sometimes she said, I don't think they take me for serious. Because her feet, she was sitting in these large, comfortable, comfortable chairs that let's say a normal American would feel good, but she would get lost and her feet would dang were dangling, not touching the floor. I'm not sure that's um, a good feeling for a woman. So basically we did all of this improvement and changed the entry door to a smaller door, six feet in, instead of 10 feet large door. We made this the entry doors smaller so she would feel she didn't come in a cave, a grotto with stalactite and stalagmites. So there was a lot of things going on in that house. And it was done, obviously. Now, because the market offer a lot of large homes, you know, that's the trend, maybe. We have to think of making our home our personal space, our personal cocoon where we can caress our soul, we, where we can feel comfortable, and when we can approach life in a more human way. Only the home can assure you things of that sort, a safe space, a safe, a safe heaven for your soul. So, you know, think about it. Why uh, older homes feel good? Why older homes feel like they're more at a human level? Because they built in a different way before years ago. They built in such a way that you felt like your home was your space. You felt like your home, it was unique to your personality. Nowadays, builders build with cookie cutters. They build what they want and they do it as fast as they can without caring what a person really needs what a person really wants and now that the homes I mean you see one home you've seen them all they're all the same they're made with cookie cutters so why this is the same thing as one dress one size fits all how can a person who wears a size 2 or, or the opposite. Why a person size 22 can fit in a garment that is size 2? It's not possible. So this one fits all is 
the same as in fashion, the same as in the house. So, but we unfortunately have to buy what the market offers. If that's all the market offers, we are forced to change our home in a different way that it's more suitable to us. And that's what you want to do. You want to feel comfortable in the home. You want to feel it's your space and nobody else's. That you can decorate the way you want originally you. That can be originally you. So, what I'm saying is now go around, go around your home and um, sit in various corners. Sometimes just by sitting around in a corner, you can tell if there is something wrong with a room, with that room where you're sitting. Just feel it. Feel the room in different corners and see what you feel. Is that a lack of um, live elements like plants? Nobody puts plants in the home anymore. But they give you oxygen. They provide, they nurture, they nurture your spirit. Plants are really good in the homes. So sit around and see what's missing or not, maybe nothing is missing, but something is wrong. See if you feel something wrong in your spaces. Maybe is the colors of the walls suitable for your skin, for your eyes, colors? Is the, the light, the right light, whether it's natural or artificial light, is it conducive to you? Does it do something to you? Does it illuminate you or does it make you feel kind of the space is flat? Do you have large windows, tall, large, where you feel your soul escapes? Or maybe the opposite, you have smaller rooms, a smaller window, pardon, and the house, the room is dingy and dark. Do you have furniture that swallow you? Or do you have comfortable furniture where you feel your posture is good, where you feel you're embraced by these furniture? Or do you slide down on your furniture? Or there's, there's many, many reasons why you could be out of scale or out of tune with your home. There are many reasons. Sometimes even the shadows that is produced by your furniture, your lighting, or your natural or electrical light, the shadows are wrong. And the eyes need light and shadow to rest on. So if you want to feel very restful, you have to play with your light a lot, with your color a lot, and with your scale. So, because the idea of the scale is that you feel embraced and you feel comfortable in anything you do in your home to make your soul rejoice and live healthy so this is my message for today and uh, next uh, Thursday I will, ha I will have a new episodes of create beauty every day and um, I guess I will see you then in a, a different next Thursday with a different episode. In the meantime, don't let the world bother you. It has been upside down and it probably be, will be more upside down, but when you close that door, behind the door, it's your home. It's your soul. Take care of it, okay? In the meantime, 
I say thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Peace, love to everyone.